Another a tough break for the Niners. Uh, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Drop It Dives with Mr. Duga. All right, and, um, and today I'm going um, to talk about San Francisco 49ers running back Elijah Mitchell will be out for two months with a sprained MCL. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holla at your bar. Also, if you're a Madden player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. Yeah, man, tough break for the San Francisco 49ers as running back Elijah Mitchell has a sprained MCL. Um, and look, for me, man, um, obviously he's a really good player. San Francisco's leading rush last year with almost a 1,000 yards. Uh, he was doing good in this game with um, 41 yards already uh, before the injury, and the offense just really went downhill, you know, after that. Um, Jeff Wilson, uh, who's probably going to end up filling in for him, only averaged like 2.4 yards a carry. <coughs> and the best running back, they probably have on the roster is Debo Samuel, but the thing is, he's a wide receiver, and you can't expect him to continuously take that type of punishment week in and week out, you know, though he is effective at doing it. I mean, look, for me, Elijah Mitchell, man, um, I really root for the guy because, um, as y'all know, I'm a Louisiana native, and He's around from where I'm from, yo. He's from Erat, Louisiana, which is only like 30-something minutes away from, the 30 to 40 minutes away from, you know, my hometown. Um, so I, I root for him. I want to see him do well, yo. Um, and he was doing this thing before this injury. Um, you know, hopefully everything goes well with him and he could come back and be a healthy, you know, a healthy guy. But for the 49ers, yo, um, they're going to need somebody to step up in that backfield because it was real ugly um, out there in Chicago. And it wasn't just the weather. <laughs> like, the weather was terrible. You know, I seen the videos of the guy with the popcorn, you know, that couldn't really eat his popcorn because you got water drenched all on his popcorn. But the offense was bad out there. Now, Trey Lance, look, he's very, very talented. We know it was only his really his – I think he started like one or one or two games last year, but this is first season open to start. And then the Chicago Bears, though they've had their issues offensively for years, they've been a pretty stout defensive team, especially playing in Chicago. Um, you know, so you know that got to be real hard on young quarterbacks um, that's not used to being out there. So, um, and what's the what's a young a young quarterbacks? best friend is a solid running game and with elijah mitchell out for the next two months where there's jeff wilson where the i don't know what's up with my other rookie ty davis price out there from lsu or somebody because trey sermon is now on the eagles practice uh, squad so they don't have him no more somebody or, or they're gonna just have to you know put debo in that role more and hope he stays healthy Somebody going to have to step up for them and run the football for them consistently um, to get the pressure off of Trey Lance so they can have a more efficient offense. Or if that don't happen, you're going to have a lot of people start to holler for Jimmy Garoppolo um, and, and quickly turn from Trey Lance, which that would not definitely be a good situation in San Fran. Um, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe.